Hey, Captain Hallie here. I have been super busy answering a lot of questions about the new dock to dock auto routing between um, Navionics and Simrad. If you have Lawrence, B and G, they all are compatible. Um, one of the super cool things that I like is that if you've seen my boat, I have a tower. I don't have a second station on it, uh, but I can run my Simrad unit with my iPad. So. I'm going to show you today a really cool feature. I've been getting ready for a trip to Louisiana, and I'll show you how when I'm on my tower, if I identify a place that I want to go check out and fish, but I don't want to climb all the way down the tower, I don't want to mess with that. Or if I'm on my hotel and I'm studying um, the different areas that I want to go fish, there's a really cool option that I can use, and it's called Dock to Dock Auto Routing. And I'm going to do it on my iPad. So push a button. Get your screen where you want where you want to start. Move it. Okay, I'm just going to do a short one on this little canal that's in here. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. <laughs> but then you push the menu button, right? And you can see how it comes up on my Simrad unit. And it comes up on, and I have the NSS Evo 3 with the internal wireless. That's the 12 inch. That's what I use. Um, so then you'll see with an option to say new. So again, it and it's, the sun's kind of hitting it wrong, but I'm going to do new route, okay? When I go to my iPad, or I can go to my SimRed screen, it doesn't matter which one I push, see how that lights up with the little, that's the beginning of my route, all right? We're just going to do a little short one. We're going to say we want to go to this lake, so it marked two spots. Now, I'll go here, and I will push dock to dock, out of routing, routing. It's been fun if you're from Canada or America. <laughs> Entire route, okay? It's going to take a minute. It's going to run it, and you'll see they are automatically synced together, and it'll be both on my SimRad unit. So if my partner JC Skipper or um, Dwayne Allen, who's ever fishing with me, depends on what tournament series I'm in. Um, if I'm up on the tower and they're down below and, and uh, they're running the trolling motor or we decide we're going to get up and run, we'll know where exactly we'll, we'll be on the same path of where we're going. It's kind of nice because if you're going to run a little slower, I, I stay up on the uh, tower and I can kind of watch for some hazards. As we all know, Louisiana has a tendency to, uh, there you go, dock to dock, outer routing successful. There's like things that are... Uh, barricaded and whatever, but because of all the up-to-date data that they have, that Navionics has, um, it can get you um, there without having to deal with all those obstacles. So now I will push OK and check it out. I have a route that will take me through. It avoids all the different things. You push keep and save. Then you get to enter it. And I'm going to put this 104, that's the automatic generator that came up. Enter. Watch. And then I can zoom in. And it'll zoom in both on my iPad and on my Simrad so my partners know what I'm doing up there. And we can navigate safely to a new pond that we want to have. It's a super awesome feature. It was only available, I think, in Europe up until just a few months ago and now that we have it in the United States. So I can punch on there and zoom in. And it's going to show me turn by turn how I get from that main canal back over to that main lake that I want to be on. Super cool option. And like I said, if you don't want to have two units or if you don't want to have to spend the money to go um, have your tower wired. A lot of flats fishermen, they just get up there and go. Here it is. There's your option. Um, you cannot do this with an iPhone. You have to use it with an iPad, but you can have your fabricator um, weld on an extra little bracket like I'm going to do with Emerald Coast Fabricators, and I will essentially have the second station because my um, wireless internet is on my Simrad. 
I have my remote controllers. See? iPad. I'm connected. And I have internal wireless. Super cool option. If you don't have one of the Evo 3s, you have an Evo 2, you can add, like I did in my, my boat last year, you can add an external uh, wireless um, internet connector and it works just the same. Good luck. Tight lines.